Hey everybody, I'm Steven Tube 1967 and we are in Phasmophobia and I'm setting up a private server so I can just go in solo. I picked the contract for Edgefield Street House and Difficulty Professional. I grabbed as much uh, equipment as I think I needed to add to the game so let's just that's just Edgefield Street House. You selected that right? Ready up. Okay, there we go. Let's get in the game. See if you can make it through. All right. Let's get a flashlight. I need this and I need a camera. So we got our camera. And let's take a look at what this is going on here. So witness ghost event motion sensor and thermometer with 10 degrees celsius so the ghost name is donald harris and he likes it when people are alone oh he's gonna love me all right let's let's get let's get stuff out there actually let's see all right i'm gonna go get the keys and just get in and start going get things going see what's happening in here all right all right living room nothing going on here special temperature looks fine you gotta get below 10 degrees I think below 10 degrees means that uh, that that's probably where the ghost is right now so we're looking for 10 degree temperature. All right. Utility closet looks good. The kitchen looks good. Bathroom is looking good. Okay, let's see. Looking okay here. Let's go downstairs in the basement, man. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if it's like we have like five minutes from the moment we go into the house to locate where the activity is going on before the ghost kind of starts to get interested in our presence in their home. Looks like the power is on and yikes. Yikes. <laughs> right in my face. All right. All right. So everything looks good. There are a couple of them down here. All right. Uh, no keys, no nothing here. All right, let's get upstairs. Let's go look in the kitchen and see the dining. Oh, oh. We got something right here. Got right by the piano, man. Oh, we got temperature. Definitely have something here. Okay, looks like it was getting below zero degrees. So we're looking really good. All right, let's get to the front door. Let's get some stuff. So we got below 10 degrees, I know. Oh, look at that. Uh, got a little activity, man. A little something, something going on. Let's get this out there. Oops. Let's get a book in there. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of stuff placed in there. And then we're gonna start uh, calling out the ghost. But the ghost seems to be very interested in us right now okay okay good it's at times like that when i kind of wonder if you know having two ghost books because we were starting to see some temperatures very low like um right outside of that area and it's possible you know that the ghosts might be moving around back and forth between both areas oh man isn't that annoying I don't know if there's a way to turn it off. Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh my god. Somebody's got to tell the developer. That is that is the most annoying thing in the world. Is to have a... Okay, we're going to close this. To have um, something like that going off. And then we got to listen to that the whole time that we're in here. Yeah, we got a little bit of activity. Okay, so how's our sanity looking? Sanity's looking okay. Um, alright. 
Let's get this in there. Yep, get all the equipment inside. I'm not going to start testing things out. I'm not going to start calling the summoning the ghost calling the ghost until after I've everything in place. Everything in place. That way, uh, when the ghost um, does start to show up, he will interact with the things in the room and we have a better chance of that um, starting, you know, giving us the clues and everything we need so we can finish this. Okay, we got that. Turn that on. All right. F. All right. Good news, man. Well, I appreciate the ghosts that let us know where they are. <laughs> oh, God, that's going to be so awful. We're going to have to do the whole thing with that going on. All right. Um, let's see. This might be a good spot. Oh, we got freezing temperatures. Freezing temperatures. Is that good? Yeah, freezing temperatures. All right. I wish the light would... I mean, sometimes when you're switching around between the items that you're using, that you're carrying in your hands, um, you switch from one item to another, the flashlight stays on, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Everything's cool down there. That's good news. Let's take a look at this. We have... Um, we have freezing temperatures... Okay, so let's get this off. Get the light off real quick. Alright, I don't see ghost orbs going on there. Alright, and uh, okay, we got 10 degrees Celsius. We got to get a motion sensor. Alright. Alright, hopefully. Hopefully, um... Hopefully it is in the garage and it's not moving around between the like area outside of the garage. You know, this kind of area here. That would be very, very bad, you know? Because uh, if, um, oops, is if the ghost, um, if the ghost is in the other area we won't be able to get the motion sensor because i only brought one motion sensor with me oh look at that look at that you gotta peek down a little bit we're at 70. okay we got motion sensor we got it good oh god we gotta get a ghost event all right so let's take a look here so it is definitely going on in the garage definitely going on in here all right let's get some we're gonna bring that in with us uh, I don't think I need salt do I um, oh he's definitely definitely getting busy in there a little bit okay let me give me a sec here I'm gonna get pill get this on get that on Okay, things are kind of kind of chilling out a little bit. It's not going to be fun because we're going to have to put up with that stupid car car alarm. And there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, he turned on the lights. Okay. Where are you? Speak to me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let me check this. Let me check this. Make sure this came up as fingerprints. Excellent. I know it's not a good idea to do this inside the room. Okay. Turn that off. Throw it down. Okay. So... How old are you? Speak to me. Turn off the light. How old are you? I'm alone. Are you an adult? Are you a child? Show yourself.
speak to me. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Where are you? USA, USA. Turn off the car horn. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Okay. Give me a sec here. I'm gonna get out of there. It's a little bit nutty with that door. Um... I am going to grab a crucifix because the crucifix will give us the best chance of did I not grab a crucifix oh my god I did not grab a crucifix okay we got all that stuff let's take a look at our ghost event okay the all right yeah the lights are on we got to turn them off um, let's see what else do we want to do in there let's um, Let's do a little bit. Shoot, it's too. Oh, what? I thought I brought a lighter. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna try to. Uh, we're gonna salt that place, and see if we can get some footprints. And I think that's probably. The most, actually, I think I'm going to put another camera out here and see if I can get ghost orbs. So, okay, put that there. Put, put this right here. And then, um, right there. All right, got to get that down. Let's see. Oh, my Lord. Oh my god, that is just so nuts. I have to get out of there just because it is so crazy with uh, all that noise that, that they're making. Alright, it's flatlined in there. So that's good news for us because it means it's kind of chillaxing a little bit. We're going to put this camera down pa facing the garage and then we're going to um, you know, see if we can see anything. And we got to get this light off. We, we got to get that light off. See if we can um, see if we can see some ghost orbs. Yeah, it's going a little bit. It's going up a little bit. Okay. Don't see any ghost orbs at all. Oh, that is so awful. That is just the most awful thing in the world. Oh, we witnessed a ghost event sensor thermometer. Alright, so... EMA level 5. We might have got an EMA level 5. We didn't get spirit box. Um, there's no ghost orbs. We got no ghost writing. So, it's EMA level 5. Right? EM level 5. So I'm guessing it's either a Banshee or it's a Wraith. Because these other ones, this is not doing anything. We are not getting any examples. Let's take a look at Banshee and Wraith. Okay, Banshee and Wraith. Alright, um... Banshee and Wraith. Banshee, a Banshee natural hunter and will attack anything and has been known to stalk spray at one time until making its kill. It strikes a Banshee will strike, will only target one person at a time. Weaknesses, Banshee fear the crucifix and will be less aggressive when they're near one. I don't think it's a Banshee. I think it might be a Wraith then. A Wraith is the most dangerous ghost you will find. It is also known a known ghost that has ability to of flight it has sometimes been known to travel through walls unix strikes rates almost never touch ground meaning it can't be tracked by footsteps 
Okay, toxic reaction to salt. All right, how am I doing? Ooh. All right, we got to get back in there. Let me get another sandy pill. Uh, we witnessed a ghost event, but we don't know what this... Uh, we, we don't know. We don't know what exactly uh, this is. We got to get more evidence. Okay, so what are we looking for? Let's get back here. I could go upstairs and look for so uh, we know no ghost writing uh, so EMF level 5 or spirit box EMF level 5 or spirit box oh god that is so annoying EMF level 5 I'm guessing it's EMF level 5 Where are you? Speak to me. Show yourself. Come here. How old are you? I think we got EMF level 5. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Come here and get a picture. The power of Christ compels you. Get over here. Right now. Turn off the car alarm. Please turn off the car alarm. Pretty please with sugar on top. Turn off the car alarm. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. The power of Christ compels you. Come here. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris. Donald Harris, Donald Harris. Donnie, do you like it when I call you Donnie? Come here, Donnie. Show yourself. Just in case he starts to hunt. We gotta get ready to run. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Pretty please show yourself. I wanna be friends. I wanna be your buddy. I want this video to end. I wanna get out of this room with this stupid car that keeps honking. Where, please. Please, 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 please. Show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donnie. Donnie. Donnie, show yourself. Don. Do you like being called Don, Don? Don, show yourself. All right, we're coming close to 20 minutes on this video, and he's just not showing himself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald Harris, show yourself. Donald. 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 Oh, God, this is... Uh, I'm going to guess EM level 5. Yeah, this is this is getting 20 minutes long and I'm not getting anything. Oh god. <laughs> oh, what a way to end things. All this Nike. Oh my god. Oh, 
show yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna guess. I'm guessing Banshee. Oh, I should have got. Oh, I didn't get footprints. Footprints. I didn't get this for interaction. Okay, dudes. Dudes, we're done. We're done. Okay, I don't have a crucifix. I don't have a way, you know, to do anything. Anything more. That's it. That's it. We're all guessing Banshee, guys. Sound good? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Big money. Did we win? Did we win? Yes! We won. We didn't get a picture of him, but we guessed Banshee. All right. All right, so I think I'm going to keep going. Okay, that's Intermediate. Ridgeville Roadhouse. Intermediate. Asylum. Oh, God, that's going to be such a nightmare to try to do. Let's go Bridgestone High School. You guys sound... You like that? It's going to be so tough. It is going to be so very tough to get through there. So I have an EMF reader. I'm going to grab a couple photo cameras. I got a lighter. I don't care about candle. I need a couple crucifixes. Do I have a UV light in there? Yeah, I, d I don't need two UV lights. All right, video camera. There should be already a video camera, so we got that. Spirit box, salt, smudge sticks, one, two tripod, one flashlight, motion sensor. I don't know what the heck is up with the sound sensor. I never, I never see um, anything that suggests a sound sensor uh, is ever needed in this game. Maybe that'll become a later thing. Ghost writing book. Um, we don't need, well, maybe we need, need, where's crucifix? Okay, I got crucifix in there. Glow stick. We don't need head mounted camera. Parabolic microphone. Okay, so we got EMF. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh. We need one, two, four. I'm grabbing all my sanity pills because it's a big place. All right, so we're good. We got ghost writing sanity. Thermometer one be fine. Motion sensor is fine. Strong flashlight. You know, if, if, no, we don't need two motion sensors. Strong flashlight, tripod. Yeah, two video cameras should be enough. Salt, smudge sticks. Yeah, that should be enough. Video camera, crucifix. UV light, lighter. Photo camera, I got three. And EMF reader should be enough. All right, you guys, we're ready to go in Brownstone High School. Let's see what's going on in here. So this is a big, big place. My plan is to get everything out there. Get everything out at the uh, at the front door. I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of stuff inside out, outside the front door. Because we got a lot of work that we're going to have to... we got a lot of ground to cover. Okay. A lot of ground. Okay. Let's see. And I got a camera. Oh! <laughs> that's not... That's not what I wanted to click. Dummy. Dummy dumb dumb. Alright. Okay, so we got that camera. Uh, we got you. We got you. Alright, crucifix. Let's see what happens. I, I think... I don't know. I... I kind of wonder if my strategy is going to be to run through and look for lights that are turned on, for phones ringing, or for doors that are open. Because that's, to me, maybe the fastest way I'm going to be able to figure out where exactly this thing might be. So this has, this school has a lot of cameras in it, which is, I mean, it's, it's kind of nice. Ooh, I got to turn the light on. All right. All right. Okay. I had, okay, so I had a contract. I can't remember what the name of the house was. It might have been actually Edgefield. 
where outside I set all my stuff up outside and I I kid you not it um, it showed up right it, it wrote inside of my ghostwriting book it did ghostwriting on the porch outside of the house that's that's freaky man that's absolutely freaky all right so we got two crucifixes there okay got two crucifixes there and i'm gonna get some salt in there as for the rest of the stuff i'm gonna try to pick things i'm probably going to do a smudge stick last actually we didn't even look at what were some of the optional objectives to see if we uh, can do them or not all right it's there what is in my hand okay good that's the light so we're gonna put the UV light down there yeah it would be interesting if uh, we got ghost writing on the porch or right here on the front steps that would I don't know that would be like terrifying okay we're gonna get this up gonna get that on there um, I want my motion sensor okay we need motion sensor that's for that's for oh let's get that out of our hands there we go there we go okay so I'm glad I brought the motion sensor definitely the crucifixes I mean man it was it was pretty scary going into Edgefield without um, a crucifix you know I would have probably been a little bit more aggressive about what is this I have in my hand okay good motion sensor yep it takes a little while to get everything set up this this is truly how you would do a solo game you get everything you need at front and then you run in and you start you start looking so I want another camera and I don't need another one of those I would like to grab the smudge stick I think that was uh, one of the things that we needed to do so we're gonna get a smudge stick get it over here all right it's down there okay I got another camera didn't I bring out another camera did I not pick it up did I not pick up a second camera I wonder if I can't have two cameras in my hand no I should have three I should have extra cameras all right we're gonna throw the one in our hand down and uh, What the heck? I thought I had a camera. What in the world? I brought three cameras with me. And there isn't one in my hands. Okay. So we got everything. Did we... We brought one of those out there, right? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. All right, oh, crap, we gotta get going. All right, let's see what we got. Oh. Should I, should I grab, nah. We can grab the sanity pills. Worry about that later, we're just starting out right now. All right, I was pretty certain that I had. Okay, so we got camera. And we got EMF reader. Oh, there's both of my cameras. All right, let's get the lights on. If there are any lights in here. Okay. All right, we got to get going. I think we're going to probably just stick our head quickly inside of rooms and 
not go to I we don't have the time I think to do a lot of searching we're just gonna do that we're just gonna go in them see what happens okay let's um, actually actually um, yeah I was talking about looking for a room either with the light on a room with the door open or a room where a phone is ringing let's do that let's do that let's do our first round is going to be looking for instead of going to every room and 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 I know that means we're gonna have to probably travel through this area twice to get the information I mean for me most of my experience has been when I find whatever it is when I find the room or the area is that um, usually it's uh, on the second floor It'd be nice I mean I think that again I think this game gives you a timer like from the moment you step in the building you get like five minutes before the ghost starts actively um, is aware of your presence so you have five minutes to try to set things up to try to figure out where activity is going on get your equipment in place and then I thought I heard a phone, sorry. I had to stop talking and see if if there was a phone. Yep. Yep, no temperature. No temperature variation here. Man, this is so slow. I have to I have to say if the developer were like watching this video. And I know developers sometimes they have discords and they have, you know, a way for you to communicate with them and talk with them. I'm sure that people have already mentioned that, hey, you know, like in the asylum in the high school, it's you know, this this pace of walking is just not not gonna do it, you know. It's gonna take us too long to get anywhere. I mean, it's going to take me probably 10 minutes to search this whole place. And then in that time, you know, the ghost is probably active. And we're losing sanity and we're losing time. And if you want to do solo, this is like, this is not, not easy. There's not a lot going on over here. Not a lot going on. Temperature's not changing very much. Okay, we were over over here already. So we're gonna go down to the first floor and see what we can get down there. Oh, we got a door open. We got a door open. Crap. Nothing going on in here. No temperature variation, it's just an open door. I mean we should see some change in the in the temperature in there if that were our spot. I mean it doesn't have to get to freezing for it to be the potential spot. It just has to be like um you know it just has to get colder in there. Uh, we're gonna let's see, do you wanna go through the gym? Let's take a shortcut through the gym. basketball if we want to shoot some hoops I don't know if we can make it in this hoop there I think it's too high for us to actually uh, get a basketball in it <laughs> yeah I kind of wonder if maybe 
Maybe I should try to read some cheat sheets like, oh, open door. For, um, for, fez for like, the high school. Ah! Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're here. Okay, we've, we've got our room. And there's definitely noise going on in there. All right, so we're gonna get back. We're gonna check our sanity. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out this door over here. I'm not gonna try to get to the front door. I'm gonna take the shortest pathway, getting out of here. Yeah, I think we've already spent ten minutes inside the school. I'm guessing my sanity is definitely taking a hit. All right. I think someone said there was some kind of a bug. I don't know if it's at the high school where there's something that um, I don't know what it was, but it helps you to get moved through the building really fast. I know. Why are you, why are you bringing it up if you're not going to like tell us what it is or something? Like, I, I don't know. It's just things. Is the lights off? Did they turn off the lights? I guess they did. They must have blew the power. Let's see. Ooh. We had some action in there. Okay, so. Okay, so. We know where it is. Okay, EMF reader. EMF reader. Smudge sticks. Motion sensor. Let's go get the EMF reader. And, uh. I probably should put the camera. I'm going to put the camera in there so we can get... All right. Um, let's see. We need... Get that out of our hand. Let's get uh, EMF reader. And let's switch and grab this. Okay, those are unlocked. We are we're going in this way. This will be the shortest route to that room without uh, getting ourselves... Um, losing so much sanity. Yeah, I think that... I think we've already spent like 10 minutes. Well, at least, you know, in terms of sanity, we didn't lose a lot. So, I don't think that this, whatever this is, it's not... What is the one that causes you to lose the sanity the fastest? Is it a Yuri? Is it a demon? I'm honestly not sure which one it is. Alright, I probably should have tried turning the light on in the room, but... There we go, there we go. Let's just turn the light on. Where is it? Okay, the switch was blown, which is fine. And we're going to get a camera back here. Lights are on. Okay, I'm going to get this place down here. I'm going to get that place down there. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh. You hear that phone? Yep, I'm feeling good. I'm getting a little... I get some shivers down my spine. Oh. Ho, ho. I mean, the last house, last room we went into... We didn't get a photograph of it, which is kind of a bummer. I, I, I want us to get a photograph of it. I think we've seen most of the ghosts anyway. Oops. All right, so we want to get the ghost writing book. We got, uh, we got EMF. We got we needed smudge sticks in there. What else? Let's. No, let's not go check that. Let's see. Uh, um, let's grab... Grab a camera. Grab that. And get this. I'm trying to get this stuff set up. Yeah, it's so much easier when you got a bunch of people. And you got, like, everyone can bring in three objects and place them inside. And it's like, yeah... Yep, I'm going to take the camera, I'm going to put it inside. And just leave it on the table. 
We'll check. We will check for ghost orbs now that we got the c video camera up, but we're not going to do that right now. Not right this second. So I need a smudge stick in there. I should probably... Okay, so that phone went off. Okay, you got that down. Okay, we got a camera down. Yep, this is this is what it is. You might say, oh man, this is like... This is a little bit boring. It's When you're playing the game, it's definitely... I don't know if I would say it's boring. Everyone's a little different. I mean, definitely hearing that phone ringing and, you know, we know that we know that we're in the right place. We almost have everything we want set up. I'm going to return to the truck and I'm going to check. I'm going to check. Um, I'm going to check for ghost orbs. Or spirit orbs. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, alright. What do we need over here? Yep. Let's see. What else do we need to bring in there? Okay, it's very, very quiet. My sanity's looking good. EMF rigor. So, smudge sticks and motion sensor have got to be the next things. Okay, let's get, uh, there's our room, don't see very much going on there. I think the next time I should click the other side of the mouse, which will go in reverse. That way I don't have to go through all those like that. Smudge sticks, motion sensor, okay? We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Please, please be patient. I have most everything set up. I need smudge sticks. I need a motion sensor. Okay, got motion sensor. We got smudge stick. We're gonna have to come back for, for the, uh, for the, for the lighter. And then uh, probably bring an extra camera. I don't, not a video camera, but the regular camera in. That'll be like one of the final things will be just bring in a second camera. That way, if we need to take more than five photographs, I'll be able to get, you know, that'll happen. Things, things can happen. All of a sudden you find you're taking, there's lots of activities, lots of stuff to photograph and document. So you can get credit for it, get more money for it. Man, I I've had I've had a couple of well like this one of the houses, not like the, the big high school, but I had one case where one of the or two different houses, I don't know if they were the same, but they were um oops, don't yeah, don't fall down there. Okay, so I think this is my motion sensor. We're gonna go right here. Yep, Ke gotta keep it low just in case we have a ghost that's crawling on the floor. Okay, so we are gonna get a lighter. And I think I'm gonna grab, no, I don't, we don't have a ghost book in there, do we? Or do we? God, I don't know. Man, I know, it's like we've been, we're coming up on 20 minutes. We don't have any action yet. I'm, you know, solo content. I know I have a lot of money, so if I die, I've never died in solo. I have no idea what happens. I'm assuming that if you die in solo, that the game just ends and you go, you go to uh, your screen where it shows, you know, how much money you did get from running. And then you get to start another one. So yeah, I've, I've died a few times. I just don't know how Solo works out. Okay, we got lighter. Ooh, we don't have crucifix. Oh God, we, we got so much equipment here. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this way. 
I know this is going to hit my sanity, but I think this is probably faster than walking outside. Yep, yeah, he's calling us. He wants to talk. Definitely wants to talk. So we're going to smudge stick this area. All right? That's that's a definite guarantee what we're going to be doing next. Yeah, at least we'll start to get some of the uh, optional objectives done. So we can, um, you know, start crossing off stuff. Start adding some money. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, no, what was that? That was my camera. Okay, that's a cru crucifix. Okay, so there is an issue with um, crucifixes. Hi, buddy. Ah, damn it. Okay, so we're starting to get some action. That's okay. Starting to get some action. He's getting a little patient, too. He's like, dude, this video. You've been in here 20 minutes, and you and I haven't even talked yet. Yeah. Yeah, I know you. I know you're there. Okay, let's get that out of our hand. All right, so we got some stuff in here. I think we are ready to. Let's do a little. Let's do a little something, something. Speak to me. Where are you? I know you're in this room. How old are you? Are you an adult? adult? Nice. Okay, I know. Typically, this is not the idea. You don't want to do this in the room, but we're going to do it in the room. How old are you? You're an adult. How old are you? Speak to me. Show yourself again. Behind? In front? Show yourself. Come here. Okay, we got two bars. Show yourself. Near. Why are you far? Far? Come near. Come here. Show yourself. Far. Far. Near. Come here. Closer. Show yourself. Far. Show yourself. Away. Away. Show yourself. Come here. Come here. All right, let's see, we got that, we got that. We know we got spirit box. I, I'm not seeing freezing temperatures or anything. Okay, so we're gonna go back out to the car really fast. I didn't write down his name. Where are you? Show yourself. Come here. Yeah, I'm just gonna start yelling out random things in the hallway to get some action. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. <laughs> oh God, this, I know this is gonna just take forever. So I've never, I've only done a few solo games and I've never done the high school. So far, we're doing okay. So far, we're going to go check on our sanity. 
We're going to see if we got any additional objectives that have crossed off. We know we got Spirit Box. Um, I don't think we had a Ghost Writing Book in there. Okay, we got... We didn't. Okay, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Okay. Let's go... Um, it's good. Good. Sand, he's back up. Excellent. Oh, we got everything. All right, no spirit orbs. Did he push around something inside? I could have swore something inside, like one of the books moved or something. And I wonder if that means it's a poltergeist. Okay, so um, what do I want? Okay, so we need we need to bring in the ghost writing book. We need to bring that in. We didn't we didn't bring it in. Now we need to bring it in. Um, no, we got to have the camera. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know exactly where the um, the break the breaker is in the high school. I mean, at this point, it's like this is taking so long. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time trying to get the breaker so we can get lights on or something, and I can say like, turn off the light or whatever. I should get the I gotta get the UV light. So we're gonna put down a ghost the ghost writing book and then I'm gonna go back and grab the U, UV right light the UV light and start looking for fingerprints. Cause we haven't gotten a lot yet. And it's very early, but I hear I hear the EMF reader. Oh, it's up to three. Where is it? Okay, so. All right. Okay, we got to get the EMF reader. Right in my book, please. Can you sign my yearbook? Be my friend. Write in this book for me. We're gonna go we're gonna go right through here. This will be a little bit faster for us. You know, early on when we're trying to get everything set up, I'm trying to take the shorter path to get out of the building just because of my sanity. Cause this is so big and it's gonna take me so long. I wanna do whatever I can to keep my sanity from going crazy. <laughs> I know that's not funny. You're not funny. Okay, we got you. All right. Let's get going. I should have left the camera in there. That's one of the things that I know I should be doing is I should get in the habit of set a camera in the room and then leave it there. Like any time I, I have to run out and get some supplies or equipment, I mean, I should always put down the camera and then go grab stuff. And yes, I know things can happen when we're... Um, when we're running around from the building back to our truck but usually um there's not a lot to photograph you know i don't know if there's any bones in here or any of that other stuff it's just so time consuming all right this video this solo video is coming up in one hour do you write oh it did he did he did he did he did thank you thank you for writing my yearbook Okay, so. Okay, where's the door? Okay. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, I gotta get, okay, I'm, I'm hitting the desk. <laughs> Okay, I got fingerprints.
Okay. I know we're not. We shouldn't do this. In, I got interaction there. Photos, interaction, fingerprints. Stay over there. Stay the fuck over there. Don't you come over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so this camera is all full. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate it when they do that so very, very much. It's taken us 30 minutes almost to wait for that to happen. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I don't know where my sanity's at. Um, if he starts hunting, he's going to be in that room. So, it'll be okay, because if he has to come out here to find me, I have more than enough time. Like, if he starts to hunt right now, we have a ton of time to find a room. I mean, there's tons of rooms for us to duck in. So, I'm not worried about him hunting. I'm not so worried about sanity. I've got two more pills left in the truck. We're going to go back to truck. We're going to grab some pills. We know we got ghost riding. We don't have uh, EMF 5 yet. Okay, I want you. Let's see what else is in my hands. So we got, we did get fingerprints. So we can get rid of that. Um, okay, I'm going to just get off these steps. I've had, I had, all right, this is a true story. I had, um, I had a game where, okay, we got the ghost, we got interaction, we, we get lots and lots and lots of stuff. So we had a ghost who was hunting and a bunch of us were outside except for one guy who was inside, who was trying to hide from it. And I was standing on the porch and I was taunting the ghost from outside the house and the ghost turned and he came right toward me and he got me on the porch. I kid you not. Oh, excuse me. He got me on the porch. All right. So I'm just going to say no ghost orbs. So we got ghost riding. We don't have ghost orb yet. Okay, so let's. We already got spirit box, fingerprints, ghost riding. We got it. We got a spirit. We got, we got it. And we got the ghost. And we got the... We got it, guys. We got it. There isn't anything else we can do, right? We didn't hear water. We didn't... We got it. We got it. We're going. We're heading out, everyone. We didn't even have to try to summon the ghost. He just came out. We got it. Woohoo. We got it. Big money. Oh, it's a spear. 265. Look at that. No bone evidence. That's fine. Insurance, what? Okay. All right. Heading up there. Getting up there. Let's go take a look at the job. See what we got left. Okay, so we already did Brownstone. We're not going to do it again. We did Edgefield. I don't want to do that. Bleasdale. Bleasdale Farmhouse. Oh, my Lord. That's a scary place. So, EMF reader. I'm going to grab uh, a second photo camera. I need a lighter. I need a UV light. I need two crucifixes. I want an extra, I need a spirit box, I need some salt, I want smudge sticks, I want two tripods, I want one flashlight, one motion sensor, thermometer, just in case. I'm going to grab maximum amount of sanity pills. I'm going to grab another, okay, head mounted camera, we don't need that. So let's take a look what we got. EMF reader, only need one ever. Flashlight, don't care. They should get rid of this. Developer, just get rid of this. Nobody wants that photo camera okay I got two you know what let's get three uh, f photo let's get another photo camera you never know lighter is good UV light is good crucifix is uh, we got two of two that's good video camera spirit box salt only need one salt anyway smudge sticks is this good two of those strong flashlight one 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 thermometer four sanity pills ghost writing book I think that's everything else here. I have no idea what parabolic microphone might be for. I, I think about that and I think maybe that would be good for like, um, okay, Bleasdale Farmhouse Professional, let's get in there. But I would think the parabolic microphone maybe is useful for like big, big, um, going like to the high school or the, the, the asylum. So, okay, uh, let's get some stuff. Get this open. 
did I did I grab oh I didn't grab that did I all right so yeah maybe the parabolic microphone might actually turn out to be really awesome for finding um, finding ghosts when you're playing solo maybe that's what it's for I'd have to spend a little time and try to do some reading up to find out if there's anything that that is actually good for. Because why would you put in the game? But then again, there's the sound sensor and there's never a additional objective for sound sensors. Good. Close enough. Well, I'll see enough. Yeah, the farmhouse is good and scary, man. I wonder if this is the one that has the attic. All right. It's too bad we can't cl get closer to the high school so we don't have to walk so far, you know? Okay, put you there. Crucifix goes there. And I also, I heard that he's coming out with a map for a prison. And I think Game Edge did some uh, testing of that, which is really cool, man. I would like to have watched that at the time I didn't, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to watch that video. But I think a prison would be awesome. But you got to figure that's a huge map. And... I mean, if, if I were the developer and I thought there was a way to do it. Okay, so that's our, uh, that's UV light. That's good. So you got one camera. I don't know if we're going to need two. So one should do just fine. Once we find it, we're going to grab this. I'm going to grab another one of these. Always going to grab an extra camera. You never know. Okay, that's kind of odd. <laughs> I knew I picked up that camera and it's like not showing up. I scroll through what I have in my hand. It's possible that my scroll wheel was going back and forth. I find that my mouse, it's a pretty nice mouse. I really like it, but it's possible that, um, well, let's take a look. Okay, we got to prevent hunting with the crucifix, motion sensor, and 10 degrees Celsius with a the thermometer. Name is Mary Clark and she likes she likes to be alone. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get her. Um alright, so we got one of those out. We gotta grab you. And you know, I I it didn't say smudge stick, right? No, but we're gonna bring everything out. I want everything out here, sitting out here, waiting for us, ready for us. To just come right out and grab it yep that's how that's just gonna happen all right um, ultimately I like to have two crucifixes because sometimes you're in a room where there's odd objects that are kind of placed throughout like a bed or something and that that can be very bad that can turn out very very bad for us because or or like a car so the ghost could appear on one side of the car and you're on the other side of the car with your crucifix and the ghost is like I, I'm sorry but I don't see your crucifix so now I'm gonna come over while I'm hunting you and I'm just gonna straight up kill you and you're not gonna be able to stop me because when the ghost spawns they have to the crucifix has to be within visual range of them or it does nothing I grabbed two I don't know why I have two of those that just seems so stupid. Yeah, it is. Okay, so um, we we never know if this this can be a big place. At times, the ghost is moving around a bit. We might need multiple cameras in multiple spots to kind of find the ghost. 
Okay, so we got everything. We got everything here, right? Right? Yes. Okay, we got multiple cameras. All right, grab that. The thermometer is absolutely the the favorite item, my favorite. I think this thing is like so OP in comparison to everything else in the game. All right. So this is a small place. Let's get in there. It has an attic. I'm guessing that's the power source, that green thing. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. All right. So. Let's get going. All right, so we have power. So there was a game that I played. It, I don't think it was in here. It was the other farmhouse. And I had done it solo. And I didn't put the video up. And I should have. Because it was, it was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying to play. So I had come in. I had opened up the door. I had turned on the light. And I had just... I hadn't hardly walked at all. Okay. I think I'm going to grab that. And uh, see if I get the ghost to play with it. And immediately, from the moment I walked in the door and turned on the light and opened up the door and walked in, the ghost turned off the light and shut the door. And then it appeared briefly. Oh my God. I, I mean, right there and then, I had thought long and hard about whether or not I wanted to do solo play because I didn't know if I could handle that. I didn't know if I could handle... I didn't know if I could handle um, that kind of intensity. Okay, so it's cold in here. Okay, we got our room. We're in good shape, people. We got our room. That's very important. Okay, so uh, camera's going to go down there. Try to remember this. We got a once we get things set up man let's just get our let's get our equipment let's get the camera we put it right there where we're gonna use it all right um let's see we're gonna grab our spirit box and grab this get the light on okay good 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 all right um Back in this corner is probably the best spot. Best spot right back here. How far back? How far back can I go? Can I go way back here? Okay, and hopefully that's not blocking the way. Okay. Alright, let's get our... Oh. Good. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Freezing temperatures. Yep, uh, we know the temperature was really low, but we definitely know now we got freezing temperatures. We got our first, first clue. First clue. Okay, um, we said we needed a motion sensor. So we're going to get a motion sensor in there. All right, we got to find a good spot that's really low. Let's go right here. Let's keep it low in case we have, uh, you know, in case we have one of those ghosts that uh, crawls on the ground so we don't miss it, which is, you know, great, great. We got, okay, we got our video camera, or not video camera, but a camera camera. And I don't know if I want to search the house for other clues and other things that will get us some, some money. All right, so I got nothing in my hand. Okay, we're gonna go in and smudge that spot, smudge it, just because. I can't remember if smudging was something we needed to do, but we're gonna do it anyway. All right, we 
We got no power in here. That's all right. I'm gonna smudge it. Look on the table. See if we see anything. See if we see any evidence. Oh, did my smudge stick already go out? Holy smokes. That smudge stick is already used up. Holy free holy. Yeah, I, I mean, usually the smudge stick stick in my opinion usually ask lasts um a couple of like maybe 30 seconds or something like that you can walk around the whole entire room and that smudge stick will you know will do its job okay all right i'm just gonna trying to figure out where is a good spot where I think the ghost will see the crucifix and that'll prevent it from hunting. They'll give me some protection. It's mostly so when I call the ghost. Oh God. Okay, let's go check our sanity. I'm gonna take another camera. Um, what did we need? Yeah, we wanted this. See, that's that's the problem. It's like, if I had a camera, we could have got our ghost photo right there. It's like, damn. It's like we were in the high school, and, and the first time the ghost showed up, I didn't have the camera in hand, but we were looking at him. Okay. Let's get a sanity pill. Good. How much does that help? 98%. Okay, 10 degrees Celsius. Crucifix. So we got crucifix and motion sensor down. Um, the ghost was not inside. Um, the ghost was not in that room. It was out in the hallway. So I kind of wonder. If there's something else we're going to have to do. I don't see any ghost orbs or anything in here. Okay, so he looks like he's kind of being active. So we got a sensor in there. The problem is with the sensor in there, um, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, let's see, what have I got? Okay, I got Okay, I got a lot of stuff in my hands. So that's kind of where we're seeing some action. Is that right? Where, okay. Try to figure this out. How exactly does this work? Upstairs. It's a front door. There's my motion sensor. There's there's just a chance that we might not, uh, we might not be able to get that objective because if the ghost is not in that room, then you know, we're not going to get that. All right, the scary part. We got to turn the lights off to look for fingerprints. We'll turn it off here in a second. Oh, it turned off those lights. Oh, wait, he closed the door. He did close the door on us, didn't he? Didn't he? No fingerprints. No fingerprints at all. Let's do a final. Let's do some. Uh, do a little bit more. I don't think we're going to have fingerprints, you guys. My guess, my guess is no fingerprints. Oh, we got some action. Oh, and he moved it. Oh. Okay, so we got a camera in here. We got this in here. Where are you? Speak to me. How old are you? Where are you? Alright, we got spirit box. We got freezing temperature spirit box. And we got some ghost writing. Alright, this is a demon. 
This is kind of not good news for us. We didn't get a photo of him. Um, I do want to get a photo of the demon. I mean, we saw it. If we don't get a photo of it, that's not the end of the world. Um, okay, let's get off here. Let's get off here so he doesn't get us out there. Okay, let's take a look at demon see if we can... We've got interaction. Oh, that didn't give us phone. Damn. Okay, demon. Oh, we went right by him. Okay. Demon's the worst ghost you can encounter. He has no one to attack without reason. Strengths will attack more often than the other ghosts. Weakness is acting. The demon's successful questions on the Ouija board won't lo lower the user's sanity. I mean, we saw it. We did see it, didn't we? Okay, let's go see if we got any of any of the other objectives because that motion sensor is one of them. Um, he was out there, I think. Oh. You got to prevent him from hunting. Okay, let's see. Um, we're we're still good. We're still good. He's he's. Um, you know what? We're here. Let's let's just do it. Let's just let's just top ourselves off. Okay, so we're going to take a crucifix and put it out in the hallway. It's very possible that he's out in the hallway and that putting a crucifix out there will stop him. It's possible that he's out here. So we're going to stick a crucifix out here. Alright, and we're going to close that. And we're going to put this right here. I saw him right about here. We'll see if that'll help us. Okay. Wait. Close the door. Okay, so what have we got back here? Let me... I'm just checking, guys. I'm just checking. Just in case... We have something back here. Okay, so. If he hunts and we can't do anything to stop him. Guys, this is where we're going to try to go. To get away from the demon. Didn't I close that? Give me a sec here. Didn't we see the voodoo doll? You guys, we saw a voodoo doll, didn't we? Yeah, I think there was a voodoo doll. I'm going to grab it. Was it was it there? Okay, we got a voodoo doll. We got a voodoo doll. I'm gonna throw him in the room. Okay, so. Yep, there's reasons why we. <laughs> Christ. Oh Christ. I know this is a demon. People are saying, don't F with this guy. Seriously. It's a demon. No. We need to prevent hunting. Where where is my crucifix? Oh god, don't tell me he ate the crucifix. Oh god. He ate the crucifix. I think. Okay, okay, we gotta go get the other crucifix if it's still there. Alright, he ate the crucifix. Up, oh, fudge. Alright, we gotta do this, guys. Okay. Where are you? Here. Show yourself. Here. Show yourself. Please. Show yourself now. Show yourself. Behind? Behind? In front. Come here. Show yourself. 
Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Next. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself now. Show yourself now. Come here. Come here now. Oh, I've got to get this ghost. I didn't I didn't write down the name. Give me a second. I got to I got to see if I can get a get a name. I didn't write it down. Okay, it looks like we were getting a little bit of activity there. And, uh... Okay, Mary... It is Mary Clark, and she likes it when we're alone. That's funny, because Mary Clark looked like a... Well, I don't know. Okay, yep, I know. You're like, stop eating those pills! They're not helping you. Alright. Okay, so we got everything... He ate one of my crucifixes. We gotta, we gotta get him. I don't know what it's like if we die. I have no clue. I'm gonna grab the salt. And we're gonna salt the floor. To get some footprints. I, I don't know if that counts. As anything though. Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary Clark, Mary Clark, Mary Clark. Mary Clark, show yourself now. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. All right. All right. All right, here we go, guys. Mary Clark, show yourself right now. Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary Clark, this is taking me forever. Get, show yourself. Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary Clark, show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Come out, demon. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Show yourself. Maria, Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary, Mary. I have another video camera in here. I only have one photo. God, yeah. Mary, come here. Mary, come here. Mary, Mary, come here, Mary. Come here, Mary. Mary. Mary, 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 Mary. All right, I'm going to see if we got it. That camera's used up. Let's hustle. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I don't know if that prevented a hunt. Let's go. Go, go, go. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. All right, guys. We're going to see if we got that off the board. Yeah, look at that activity. I can already see, man. No, we didn't. We didn't prevent hunting with the crucifix. I'm at 52. I got one camera left. Mary's in the room. Guys, this is where we separate the men from the boys. And the men from the girls. And the men from the women. And the men from... From guys who are uh, both men and women. You know what we're talking about. This is where we find out. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we get them? Okay, we still have our crucifix. Take a look here. I want to take a look at some things. 
got time. So somewhere in here is probably a Ouija board. Mary Clark. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mary Clark, show yourself. Mary Clark, demon? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Mary, come here. Mary, show yourself. Mary. Mary. Mary Clark. Oh God, oh God, run, 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 run. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Run, oh God, run. Oh God, no, no. Alright, so now we know what happens. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. We know what happens when you die in solo. Oh, that demon was bad. I know some people are watching like, that's a demon, dude. Just get out. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Take the money and run. It's like, no. No, that's not why we're doing this here. Balls to the walls, boys and girls balls to the walls okay we lost some stuff yeah let's let's go back let's get some buying right, we got we got okay we got that we don't yeah, we don't care about that okay lighter I'm gonna grab a second one candle I don't care about candles one two we can only bring in two anyway spirit box I need another one salt I need another one we almost outran her. We almost outran her. Okay. Sandy pills. Purchase two. Okay. Okay, we're going to try one more. Because we can't end up with the ghost killing us like that. Alright. EMF reader. EMF reader. We don't need two of those. Photo camera. We got one. I want two more. Need a lighter. Need a UV light. I need a couple crucifixes. I want an extra video camera. Uh, let's see. Did we have a spirit box? Yeah, we have a spirit box. Ghost writing book. We get some salt. We get smudge sticks. We got lighter, correct? Okay. Tri tripod we probably need. Oh, we got to get some tripods. Hold on. Tripods. One, two. Yeah, we got a lot of money, man. Money, money, money. Money. I'm going to grab two motion sensors. Thermometer. I, I think I... Did I need to buy another thermometer? Okay, we're going to grab... Grab another... Th oh, do we have one here? I wish this was... Well, uh, alphabetical order you know it would be a ton easier and a lot of uh, need a lot of sandy pills ghost writing book we don't oh yep, yep there's a ghost writing book okay emf reader flashlight don't care let's see photo camera three lighter uv light crucifix video camera spirit box salt smudge sticks tripod strong flashlight motion sensor yep thermometer and we do have two crucifixes gotta make sure man gotta make sure okay good thank god it's not professional because that's all I'm doing right now it's come on give me professional no tanglewood did we do that already did we already do tanglewood good lord I'm gonna select it ready up okay let's get into tanglewood let's knock this one out let's show them how it's done right Let's show them how it's done. Alright. Let's see. We got a camera. Got that. Alright. 
Okay, yeah, get everything, just throw everything out front. Oh, everything, did I, did I grab that or no? Or maybe I did grab that. Was that already out there? Maybe I already threw it down there. No, nope, no, nope, we didn't have one down there. Okay, I should have grabbed three items, only grabbed two. Haven't grabbed my flashlight yet. Okay, so got one, two. Grab smudge stick. Get this stuff thrown in here. Oh man, that was. I don't know where that freaking demon was. A demon was probably like in the next room. That's where I think they were. And that's the thing is, if they're in the next room, man, which next room are they in? Well, let's take a look. Crucifix, ghost event, EMF reader. And we got to prevent ghost hunting. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> we got to prevent ghost hunting. Um, yeah, let's grab this. Grab a couple of those things. Let's see, man. I don't know if this is the house. This might be the house where the ghost, uh, right away, right away, started, uh, starting writing in the ghost writing book. That was such a flip, that was such a freaky thing, man. Okay, so, we'll grab some salt. Let's grab our flashlight. Oh, I can grab one more, one more, one more. Let's see, um, don't need that. You want to grab another camera? Yeah. All right. All right. We're almost ready, guys. Almost ready, man. Actually, I probably want that camera. All right. And I need a... Okay, so I need my flashlight. My strong flashlight. The only flashlight you ever need in this game. And I don't understand why we would ever take a regular flashlight. Okay, there's that. I'm going to grab the thermometer because the thermometer is so OP. Thermometer is my absolute very best part of this game. All right. Here we go, boys. Here we go. This is the house where... I started the game and the moment I walked in the front door the ghost showed itself immediately man it scared the nuts out of me all right yeah this is pretty it's pretty spooky when you do it by yourself I think one of the the keys to doing, uh, doing, to doing this game alone is, well, one, if you can get power, get power. Get it while you can get it. If you can figure out exactly where, um, the circuit breaker is, so that way if the ghost cuts your power, or if you have turned on too many lights and you lose power, you can get it back on easily enough. It's less... It's less difficult. It's less terrifying if you do it with um, with at least one light on. It helps a lot. Um, yeah, something again. I think I did mention this. I, um, so forgive me if I repeat myself, but I wish I mean, when when playing these games. Yes, playing in the dark is truly what it's about, and having very limited access to lights and all that stuff. But sometimes. Like, I'm, when I'm done with the game, I want to make a thumbnail for my video, for YouTube. I want to make a really, really good looking thumbnail. And it's so incredibly hard to get a good thumbnail from this game. It's like insanely hard. Yeah. So... So if I could say anything to say anything to the developer, it would be, can you give us the ability to like um, 
you know, be able to have lights on in the room that we think the ghost is in so we can, you know, get some, get some decent photos for our... Christ, did I miss it? I missed it. I must have been so... I must have been so busy talking to you guys. It's right here. It's right here in this room. Okay. Alright, so, um... Let's see. Get our camera there. And start getting stuff inside here. Start summoning our ghoul. Ooh. Um, so, so advice for those of you who like are interested in the game and maybe you know you've tried doing it where can I do this this might be the spot this no 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 that's not gonna be a spot so as much as I like playing this game with others sometimes it can be a bit of a a bit of a pickle when oh this is not good oh that's very not good that's very very not good <laughs> That's not a good way to start the game. That's like probably the worst way to start it. Okay, so we got ghost writing. Oh God, and I didn't have my camera. It's the little girl. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, all right. Um, um, I don't know if that's a good spot. Uh, I know, I'm just like right now it's Oh my lord. Oh my god. And I think it was that same exact little girl. Um, my first time in this house alone. I think that it was definitely. So we're going to get a little smudging going on in here. I'll go a little smudging out here. I remember one time I smudged. I'm going to close this door. One time I smudged an area, maybe some of you have seen this who played it. I smudged an area and the ghost like immediately appeared from the moment I started smudging. You know, they didn't like it. They didn't like me smudging. There. Does that help? Does that help everyone? Does that make it a little bit less terrifying for everybody? Alright. Okay, so take a look we got ghost writing so like right right where I was so some people say it's a good idea not to um, not to do your journaling in the room where you suspect the ghost is but um, you know then again you might miss something really big and important like the ghost suddenly appearing And you miss an opportunity to get a photograph. All right, Let's put that there. Like this room is a ter like if I'm going to prevent ghost hunting, this is a terrible room to do it in. Uh, I mean the the line of sight for that crucifix is just terrible. It's almost as bad as like going into the garage. Okay, can't get that. Let's do uh, let's do a quick check. Well, I don't even have a camera. Do I have my camera with it? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh. Alright. I'm going to turn that off. Okay. It's suddenly very dark there. I'm going to have the light got turned off. Okay, so we're going to do... A little bit of salt. Just, just, oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that there, but, oh well. Okay, I don't have any more salt. Okay, got two bells. Yep. 
Yep, we already got some action in here. This might be one of those ones where I'm going to probably, like, close the door and then try to get the ghost to come out. And that way, if the ghost is not in this room and starts hunting, I'll have a chance because I'm in this room of maybe, of maybe being able to uh, survive the hunt. Oh, there, there we go. All right. We've got everything in there. Let's go check a few things. Let's go check a few things. See if we, uh... Yeah, we got that extra camera. Let's we grab the extra camera in case we need to take some more photographs. Alright, there was a little bit of action. Wow. Sanity's already dropped. Quite a bit. Okay, crucifix, jeepers. We gotta do that. Oh, and I got the lights on in there. Now, the, the ghost might be in... Okay, I got it. The ghost might be also out in the hallway. So, we're gonna put another one in. And then, we gotta turn the lights off. At least it's very quiet in there right now. Not a lot going on. Yep, we gotta get those lights off. So I know we saw something here. Ghost appeared here. And... There we go. And then one more. And you're thinking, oh, that's too scary. I can't watch. Well, there's other lights. It's like, um, let's just close that. There. We got that light on in there. Let's turn this off. So. No, that's not a lot of light. Hold on a sec here. There we go. Does that help? Does that make it a little less scary for everyone? Okay, so we got, we did get some footprints. We got some uh, ghost writing. I don't think we got freezing temperatures, but okay, we got some activity there. Let's take a look at what's going on here. I don't see any ghost orbs there. It's about the best view of that room we're gonna get. Come on. I have another camera in there. Did I not turn it on? Alright. I think this camera might... It might be bugged. Oh, it's not even on. Okay. Yeah, I can... I can hear the EMF reader going. It's complaining. It's like, something's going on in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, something's going on. Let's take a look. Let's get a look here. All right, ghost orbs. Anyone see anything? I haven't seen ghost orbs so far in in the the three or four solo contracts we've done. Um, I have not seen a ghost orb. Okay, so there's lots of little activity going on in there. All right, and our sanity is, okay. One more thing, let's get Karen. Oh God, it's a Karen. Yeah, it's a Karen. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Um. How do I set this up f to prevent ghost hunting? Do I do I get it? It's like trying. Okay. Karen Anderson, where are you?
Karen Anderson, show yourself. Behind. Behind. Karen Anderson, show yourself. I'm going to turn on the light real quick. If she shows up, we'll get a great photograph of her. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, come to the bedroom. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, how old are you? Karen Anderson, speak to me. Karen Anderson, turn off the radio. Karen Anderson, how old are you? Karen Anderson, are you a child? Karen Anderson, are you a little girl? Karen Anderson, show yourself. 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 Karen Anderson. Uh. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Yeah, I know. We should turn off the light. I yeah, know. Karen Anderson, show yourself right now. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, show yourself right now. Karen Anderson, stop playing with the door. Karen Anderson, you're a bad little girl. Bad little girl. Karen Anderson, want a spanking? Karen. Karen, stop being a Karen. Karen, show yourself. Here. Here, show yourself. Behind. Behind, show yourself. Behind. Behind, show yourself. Karen Anderson, show yourself now. Karen Anderson, show yourself now. Oh. I wonder if the crucifix stopped her. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Karen Anderson, show yourself. <gasps> oh, God. Karen Anderson, bad girl. Bad girl. Karen Anderson, you're a bad girl. Karen Anderson, show yourself. Here. Here, show yourself here. Karen Anderson, show yourself now. Karen Anderson, show yourself now. Karen Anderson, Karen Anderson, Karen Anderson. 
Karen Anderson, Karen Anderson, Karen Anderson. Karen Anderson. We had fingerprints. Oh, that's right, we did, duh. We got a spirit. Karen, show yourself. Bad little girl. Bad girl. Bad, bad girl. Karen, you're a bad girl. All right, I'm going to go out and check to see if we got... Ah, no! See, that's the tough thing is we don't know. I mean, it was a spirit. Okay, we can't end it up with that. We can't end up like that. We, we can't let it end like that. We can't. We can't. We've been in high school. We're not going there again. All right, maybe we will end it. <laughs> maybe we will end it. Let it end like that. Oh, my God. To another Bleasdale farmhouse. Yeah, I think she was in the room, but the problem is um, where exactly she was in relation to the to the crucifix was the problem. Oh well, we got we got. I'm going to grab a couple more of those. Motion sensor. Sandy pills. Yep, we're losing some losing some money, man. Purchase another one of those. Got one of those. Okay. Let's go back to the farmhouse one more time. We can't we can't let ourselves die like that. Yeah, we can't we can't let it end like that. UV light. I need two crucifixes. I need to buy another video camera. Uh, spirit box. We got salt. We got smudge sticks. We need two type pods. We need one. A motion sensor. Might need like two of them. Thermometer. Yep. I should have tried to hide in the closet. That was probably. Probably not the smartest thing for me to do to try to stand there Okay, so ghost riding sanity thermometer motion We'll go back to the house where we originally died Let's get in here. All right, we'll just call this the final game Yep, I'll grab a flashlight in a little bit. I'm just going to grab this stuff and throw it in. Alright, let's get that there. Let's get that there. And you're there. My luck, it'll be up in the attic, you know. Somewhere way up there. Oh man, that's just like, that was such a bummer. How could I get so unlucky? Yeah, so the bedroom, I think she was in the bedroom. It was a spirit. We're going to have to take a look at what the spirit does and see if we can uh, determine what rules. I mean, maybe she went through the wall to get up to us. Maybe spirits can do that. I would figure any type of ghost would be able to go through walls, but I don't know. And you... And you. Alright. Yeah, I wish we could have another one. Maybe the asylum. Yeah, we're losing stuff here, man. 
dying. Well, we're taking risks, you know. I I I was going to leave that room right before the ghost started hunting. And at the point, it's like, okay, so there's nothing going on. The ghost is totally not... Okay, motion sensor. Okay, so motion sensor. So, yeah, um, I was about to leave the house and go check things at the van when it happened. Okay, so we got that. We got a camera. Alright, making sure I'm not crouching here. Leave our smudge sticks right there. That should be fine. So, motion sensor, thermometer, EMF reader. I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna grab this and throw it inside. Yep. And just go throw it right down here and see what happens. All right, let's see there. No, no, that's... Alright, I don't think I grabbed the keys. Alright, so let's make a run. Let's go upstairs. You guys want to go upstairs? How that? How would that be? That'd be good and scary? Yeah, that'd be good and scary. Let's go start up in the attic. We're not going to explore anywhere else unless, unless we start getting action right away. But let's go up to the attic. Alright, right upstairs. Right upstairs. Okay, does that help? Turn on the lights a little bit. Not so scary with the lights on. I mean the if if we get a thermometer if we get a thermometer reading it will happen regardless of whether the lights are on or not and right now um let's see nothing going on in the attic I don't see anything special up here looking for bones or anything else temperatures staying pretty pretty uh solid above 10 degrees I didn't get I didn't write down the name of the ghost or anything we'll, we'll deal with that okay so upstairs is fine we don't need to go upstairs let's start let's start here okay all right yeah turn on the lights can sometimes help to make things a little less terrifying. But sometimes you, you can't get that. Sometimes the power has been tripped, the breaker's been tripped, and you can't um, you can't you can't start out with the lights on. You have to go find the breaker and get that turned back on. Alright, so we're doing good here. Nothing in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a voodoo doll. Yep, nothing going on there. There's our truck. See if we can make it out of here, man. I know, I'm I'm what are, what are we like? Am I like two for two or something? Died twice, and I made it twice. All right. Um, doesn't look like he's up here at all. So we went way upstairs for no reason. Usually, I would probably just like start down here, work my way up. I would take a photograph of that. 
Take a photograph of the butcher's knife. It might count for um, for evidence. I just don't know if it will. Well, we're over here. Let's go over here. So this is where it happened to us before. We died in here. I was running my. I was running like crazy, man. I was giving it. Oh, negative temperatures. Negative temperatures. Freezing temperatures, boys. Okay. Freezing temperatures. Where was that stupid doll? It was upstairs, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I should have left the camera in there. Oh, they turned on another light. How polite of them. All right, we're going to leave our camera in here. So we got freezing temperatures. Set our camera way over here, and uh, yep, that's on. Yep, Ugh. ran into a stool. Yeah, we can. I'm not going to turn that on. Yep. And it's when I don't have a camera. Yeah. Don't you know? Don't you know? How many photographs of the ghost have we actually been able to get? I mean, seriously. Okay. Um, we needed motion sensor, right? I think we needed a motion sensor. And he was right out here. So. So even if we got got information in here all right let's see what he writes we're gonna leave the camera there we got extra cameras I'm hoping to get another opportunity to get a photograph of the ghost okay you got that grab a crucifix I think, I know that the game reuses, um, no, let's put it up here. No, 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 let's put it down here. Let's put it right here. I like to have everything. I got my hand. What is this? I thought, I thought I grabbed something. Okay. That, that just bugs me, man. Sometimes that happens. I'm trying to scroll through the items. I, I'm trying to scroll through the items I have in my hand. And it's it's not finding the item that I have in my hand. Or you know, the, one of the items. Okay, so you and you are coming with me. All right. Well, we gotta end off. We gotta end off well. We gotta figure this guy out. Already got three in here. Let's uh, see if we can get something here and something here. Okay. Couple more items we gotta get in there. We got freezing temperatures so far. And uh, I want another crucifix. Yeah, I always want another crucifix. Don't, I think we're supposed to prevent ghost hunting, aren't we? Where's my crucifix? I have a crucifix there. See, stuff like this can't, if the ghost spawns here, the ghost can't see the crucifix. The ghost can't see the crucifix. Then we're in serious trouble. Then we're gonna die. Then, then, then it's just me trying to run around and not get get attacked. So um, I don't know. Uh, put that there, and and then hope against hope. That will help us. Let me turn 
turned off the light behind us. Smudge stick? Do I have... Oh, I have this in my hand. I forgot to put this down. Okay, so did he mess with anything? Did he, like, turn... He turned on lights. He did. Where is the light for that? Is that... Is that right here? going on in here. It's very quiet. Usually if there's anything, we'll find it on the door. Okay, so my guess is nothing. Nothing for that. We're not seeing footprints. And I think there's a ghost that feet don't touch the ground. And here, let's turn on the lights. <laughs> there. Does that help? That doesn't make it so scary. All right. See a little bit of activity there. See what we got. Okay, we got EMF rear and thermometer, motion sensor. Oh, God, our sanity. Oh God, our sanity. Okay. Um, oh, spirit orbs. So freezing temperatures. Spirit orb. Ghost orb. And then I haven't seen five. We haven't checked the spirit box yet. No fingerprints. And we don't know about ghost writing. All right, let's get back in there. Is there anything else that I need? Um, we can leave everything in here. Oh, can I grab that? Oh, great, perfect. All right. I think we're gonna try to uh, smudge stick it. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, the lights were turned off. We aren't getting any action yet here. Yes! Oh, God. Okay, let's go get a smudge stick. I'm gonna smudge this place. Say just smudge just makes it a little easier for us. Increases a chance that there's not going to be like a hunt or anything. Oh. Yeah, he definitely wants to talk to us or, or wants to interact with us, I mean. He looks like he maybe knocked a plate on the ground or was that already there? Okay. Yep, I know. We'll get this going. It takes time to set things up, you guys. It takes time. Okay. Alright, what have we got here? No evidence. Alright. I'll close this door. Okay, let's check. Alright, he's kind of moving around a little bit. Where are you? Speak to me. How old are you? Show yourself. Let's take a look here. 
Okay, we got we got a couple of photographs of the ghost. We got interaction, photos. That didn't give us anything. Okay. Where are you? Speak to me. I need to get another camera. Let's see. I got four. Okay, we got four there. We're good. Speak to me. How old are you? Speak to me. Where are you? Show yourself. Show yourself. Come to the kitchen. Write in my book. Let's be friends. Let's be buddies. I gotta get this guy's name. Did I write it down? No, I didn't. All right. All right. Oh, it looks like we've seen some. I can see something there on the board. I was calling his name. He was definitely interacting. He was definitely acting. Okay, so sensor everything. Christopher Martin, everyone. Okay, so we got EMF level five. Spirit box. Ghost orb. Ghost writing. Okay, so. Man, oh man. I, I'm pretty, no, he's, he's definitely in the room. Um, trying to think about what else can we do. Uh, let's grab extra camera. No, we did already get, a, we, had, we already did get enough photos of him. We just need, we need the final, we need the final clue. It's three possible ghosts. And any of those clues are not showing us anything. We left. It was Christopher Martin, right? I'm going to leave the door open. Christopher Martin, speak to me. There, that might not have been working. Christopher Martin, speak to me. Christopher Martin, write in this book. Christopher Martin, show yourself. Christopher Martin, come to the kitchen. Christopher Martin, Christopher Martin, write in my book. Christopher Martin, EMF 5. Christopher Martin, fingerprints? Yep, fingerprints have not been discovered yet. Christopher Martin. Christopher Martin. Mr. Martin. Christopher, show yourself. Chris, do you like being called Chris, Chris? Christopher, Chris. Chris, show yourself. Chris. Chris. Christopher. Christopher, give me a clue. Christopher, show yourself. Christopher Martin, EMF 5. 
Yeah. I think he's active in here. I'm going to open this door. Let's see. Got that. Um, can't go through there. I am looking for a safe place to go if he starts to hunt. Okay, we can't hide out here. Yeah, we're just going to take a little bit more looking, guys. I'm looking for any more credit, any more points. Um, I'm pretty sure this goes outside, too. Okay, so if he comes after us, this is where we're going to try to go. I think this is... A, God, I don't know. All right, we got we got a safe place in case things go crazy. We'll leave that door open. All right, we're not going to die this time, right? Christopher Martin, show yourself. Christopher Martin, I know you're in here. Show yourself. Christopher Martin, write my book. Christopher Martin. Christopher Martin, speak to me. Speak to me. Christopher Martin, speak to me. Christopher Martin, EMF 5. Did, did we get ghost? We got ghost orb freezing. No ghost riding. All right. All right. Let's see. Yeah, if he starts hunting, I have no idea which way he's going to come from. No, well, there's no fingerprints at all. No fingerprints anywhere. Crucifix is still there. Alright, this is not happening there. Um, EMF 5, he is not responding. Speak to me. Speak to me. How old are you? Show yourself. Where are you? I don't know, man. This is not going right. This is not going okay. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna take a guess and and see. There's a couple other the the other two where I died. I was debating whether or not I should continue and just leave. I'm not getting my clues. They're they're not showing up. Christopher Martin. So no fingerprints. There was absolutely no ghost writing. And no spirit box. I'm going to guess phantom, you guys. It's either phantom or mirror. Let's take a look at, at phantom. Phantom or a mare. Mare's the source of all nightmares, making the most powerful in the dark. So that guy was liking to turn on the lights. So unique strengths will have, a mare will have increased chance to attack in the dark. Weaknesses, turn on the lights or on the mare will lower its chance to attack. So, I think the mare was turning on the lights. Phantom possessed living, commonly... Summoned by Ouija board. 
You just feared for those around you. Extraints looking at Phantom will considerably drop your sanity. Weakness is taking a photo of sanity. Make it temporarily disappear. I'm going for Phantom. You guys think that sounds good? I'm I'm we're going with Phantom. I'm not taking any more risks. Yep. Going for Phantom. Come on, big money. Give us Phantom. Give it to me. Don't be a jerk. Oh yes, Phantom. I seriously have no idea what was the deal with that. Oh my god, asylum professional. Brownstone. Okay, this will be the last one. Um, how are we doing for money? We got we're back above ten thousand. Uh, let's see, EMF reader, flashlight, photo camera. I want two more there. I want a lighter. Uh, I want the UV light. I want the crucifix. Can only have that many, huh? Video camera, spirit box. I want salt. I want smudge stick. I need two tripods, one flashlight motion sensor thermometer four sandy pills ghost writing book okay let's see ghost writing book we I don't think we need we don't need two of those because we can pick them up and move them thermometer need one motion sensor one strong flashlight one tripod two smudge sticks salt spirit box camera crucifix UV light lighter yep photo camera flashlight EMF reader ready up Asylum professional. Okay, guys. This sounds crazy, but we're going into the asylum alone. Okay. Okay, we grab that one. Oh, reports of violence. That's not good. Everything is going to go right down here. Can I throw it right down there? Yep. <laughs> there's, there's just no reason. I mean, if we're going to be right here, there's no reason for that. Okay. So, EMF reader. All right. Cleanse the air with smudge sticks. Okay. Uh, capture a photo of the ghost, and it's Charles Wilson. Charles Wilson. Got to write that down. Charles Wilson and likes everyone. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. So, we're probably going to need um, to just get just get in there. Um, flashlight. So we're going to try to see if we can get some fortune with maybe a door or a window or a phone somewhere like we kind of did in the high school. I'm not going to try to go into each individual rooms. That's not not to start with just because that's going to be it's going to be very time consuming. We're not going we're not going to go downstairs quite yet. We we will definitely do that after we finish after we finish the size we side we will go downstairs. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope we get a door and or light on in a room somewhere. Okay, nothing down there is showing up. Nothing over here. sometimes a ghost can be a hallway ghost so I'm I'm not quite sure what would be the best tool for the asylum you know what would be the best tool to locate the ghost in here All right. 
Yeah, so yeah, you know, I would say that if you guys like phasmophobia, I mean, you're watching this video, maybe, maybe you're like, it's too tense, too intense, too terrifying to do solo. Um, all you really need to know is, for me, what helps is, well, what helps is just to go do it, you know? Just get out there and, and go do a solo game by yourself. If you watch the beginning of the video, well, I mean, obviously you'll watch the very beginning of the video, and you see how you can set up, you just make your own private server, and yeah, just pick what you're going to go do, and, and then get in there, and, and don't make anything of it, because it's really not that, it's not that bad once you get into it. Yeah, the, the sounds of the ghosts whispering in your ear and stuff. Those are t those scare the crap out of me when they happen, but that's just like one of those, you know, sudden loud noise kind of things that would scare pretty much anybody. Um, also, what could help you is, even though I'm doing videos and, and I'm talking to you guys as I'm doing it, I, uh, talking to myself like I'm doing right now helps a ton. It really helps me to keep from getting a little too spooked. I'm also, it's also the middle, or not the middle of the day, but actually it's morning right now. The sun came up and the room is all lit and everything. Of course, you could always do this with the room being dark and at midnight. I think there's some YouTubers out there who have, who have done this game like that just because. I hope okay I hear a clock I hope that this goes no this is not gonna go all the way through or oh, wait maybe it does I hope it does because I want to keep following it I don't want to go back upstairs I'd rather keep following and then um, turn around come back and go up up the stairs to the first floor above us and then finish checking that area so I'm hoping that this this hopefully goes all the way down through the bomb level so I can check it we go down this way we'll probably come back down that way nope 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 that's a dead end there so we're gonna go down here turn around and backtrack which is kind of a bummer I prefer not to backtrack because it's kind of wasted time okay there's the stairs back up I can't wait to see what the prison level is going to be like. I would think that, you know, if I were to do a prison level, what I would do is I would make the yard a safe place where a person could go out and not have loose sanity or anything. What I would do, no, now that I think about it, what I would do is I would make it so uh, people could have choices about what they do when they go in the prison. Like, you can look for the ghost and maybe you find it right away. But what you could do is you could make it so people could, um, they could uh, go toward, the, the prison yard could have a gate that would open. Like I'd set up the prison so there's two sides of it. One where the van shows up and then there'd be a second gate that's locked and has to be unlocked from the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me, has to be locked from the inside. And once you find the way to get to the yard, you can go outside, open up the gate, and then let players, and then the players can go to the second area of the prison. This is prison is huge. That's totally what I would do to make the prison a viable um, game. Because the prison is, is going to be huge. I mean, the prison is a huge area. You know, prison is way bigger than a high school. I can't think of anything nearly as big as a prison besides like a skyscraper or something in terms of just total size. Yeah, they're enormous. Well, no telephones, no nothing. I have circumvented, I think, the whole area. We haven't opened a single door. I'm going to go turn around and come back. Um, I don't know. If I don't get something, 
if I don't get something right away, I might think about maybe we're not going to finish this because we're not we're not getting anything. I mean, the game should help us. Like if we go in here solo, I would I would say if I were the developer, I'd say, man, you need to write logic in your code that says when somebody goes in by themselves, we're going to do a little something to help them, because the difficulty level should kind of I mean we still want difficulty but we want it to be um, reasonable because this is just I'm not getting anything here I'm so totally not getting anything here all right I don't want to lose my way I think this might be the way to the front door the front desk might be here Okay. I'm going to check out the rooms that are right here. Right by the front door because we've already spent quite a bit of time. There's a chance, although it's slim, that it might be like right, right around here somewhere in one of these rooms. And, you know, you can see why I have, uh, I brought a bunch of sanity pills because um, this definitely can become a thing. Well, there's activity. All right, we're just gonna do this. See if we can pick up a ghost orb. That might give us an idea like, if I saw a ghost orb there, it'd be like, where is that? I want to go there. Yeah, I know. I'm just going through it real fast. Crap. I'm down to 77. I am going to not take any pills. Um, we're going to give it a little bit more time. We have... Uh, We've been going about two and a half hours. I'm hoping to limit this this video to three hours. Water. I hear water. I hear water. Oh, we got it. Yep. Okay, so it's either right here. I wonder if I should take a photograph. Okay. All right, we got it. We got we got something. Dirty water fingerprints. Oh, the game gave us fingerprints. Oh, you're so sweet of you. How sweet of you to give me fingerprints. We're gonna put that there. Um, yeah, we got. It. Okay. Okay. The lights. Just leave the lights on in there, ghost. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. I may or may not be able to find my way back. No. Well, we walked by there, didn't we? Or maybe we didn't. Maybe I walked right by there, and if I would have, if I would have been back there, I would have got the the reading. I would have been like, or I would have heard the water. I've been like, yeah, yeah, there we go, there it is. Okay. All right, all right, good, good news, guys. Good news. We got good news. Can end this five bells five bells maybe some of you already have an idea of what it might be all right I wish more than anything
that we were able to turn off the car that easily. Don't you guys? Okay, so we did get five. We did get a five. All right, my sanity's not too bad. Um, we're gonna grab a couple more things. I'm probably gonna take a sanity pill because now we found it and our sanity's probably gone a little bit down. Yeah, sometimes I think this game bugs. Sometimes it bugs out and we don't get the things that we want. Okay, see, EMF reader and a camera. Yep, there we go. Dirty old man putting cameras in the bathroom. The question is, this is, am I putting it in the boy's bathroom or the girl's bathroom? I'm not gonna tell you. You won't know which bathroom you can use safely. I think some long time ago, a uh, couple of companies ago, um, one of the bathrooms I went into, uh, the part of the ceiling had what looked like a little, I don't know if I'd call it a hole or something. It looked like it had been propped up a little bit. And, you know, I wonder, oh, can't run, can't run. Okay. A revenant. A revenant. Oh God. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. We gotta get out. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe, maybe the writing in the ghost writing book when it happens is a clue to what is exactly waiting for us. Get out, 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 get out. Holy, holy hell. Holy God. Did we get everything? Smudge sticks and capture a photo. Okay, you guys, we got we gotta we gotta smudge this. We got I want my money. Okay? I want money. So we know it's a revenant. We got ourselves topped off. We gotta smudge and gotta get a photo. God lord. I gotta get another camera in there too. All right, everybody, we're ending this video with a revenant. Cross our fingers and hope we don't die. Because if what I, what I know is true, you, you can't run away from a revenant. I don't even know if you can hide from them. Where's the light switch? get it on. Ah, crap. We don't have a light. Where's the stupid camera? Okay, guys. We're not giving up. I got to get a photograph. We've got to get it. We got to end this this video with a photograph. We got to get out of here. I know this is crazy. But that's what this is about. We've been doing this for almost three hours. It's about two hours, 45 minutes. Okay, we got we got one camera. Eh, we're not doing that one. Doing another camera. How's my sanity holding out? Capture a photo of the ghost. So you guys know that we, we definitely got this guy. The thing is, oh man. We 
Okay, our sanity is very high. I'm trying to stay positive, man. Part of being able to do solo play is um, being able to, to check your uh, your your anxiety. And I'm going to put one in the hallway. Where are you? Speak to me. No. Show yourself. Show yourself. I know you're in the bathroom, you creep. Show yourself, you creep. Show yourself, creep. Charles Wilson, you're a creep. Charles Wilson, show yourself. See, I know he's not going to... Give me a sec here. Okay. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, come to the bathroom for a photograph. Charles Wilson, do you want to have a picture taken? Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, Charles Wilson, Charles Wilson. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, stop playing with the sinks. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, show yourself again. Okay, so he's over there. Um... I'm trying to think if I need cru two crucifixes in here. I don't want to die, but I want to get this guy. I do want to get another crucifix. I think I'm going to get another crucifix, you guys. Get another crucifix. I'm going to get some... I'm going to get myself uh, sanity pills and one more crucifix. Alright? I want to make sure that bathroom is, is locked down so when he shows up, he doesn't like go on a hunt or anything. Yeah, he's definitely getting interested in me. Um, you don't need that. Okay. 100% photo of the ghost. Um. There we go. There's our bathroom. I want one more crucifix, right? Yeah. One more crucifix. Okay. He's, he's agitated.
Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, show yourself. Charles Wilson, get off the toilet. Charles Wilson can't run. Charles Wilson. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fudge. Oh. 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 Oh, oh my. Oh. Holy. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, everybody, we're out of here. Run. Run. We're going to do this. We're, we're, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got a photograph. We got all of the evidence. We could do this. No hunt. He's not going to hunt. We got crucifixes in there. He's not going to hunt. I can't pick that up. I wanted to pick up a cup. Oh, we got it. Oh. Oh. Girlfriend. Oh, girlfriend. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. We did the high school and survived. We did the asylum. We survived a revenant. A freaking revenant, you guys. 310. Look at that. Look at that! 310! Look at that! Money! I wonder if that's like a... That's like a... First for most money made on a contract. A bone evidence, yeah. Like, if there's bone evidence in there, God only knows where it is. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. So, anyway... I think we're just going to stop the video at that point. I'm just going to check some of my stuff. Make sure I got enough of everything. Video camera. Purchase another one. It's probably from that time I died. Need more salt. Yeah, we died a couple of times, but I think when we survived like four of them. Were we able to make through four of them? Yep, you only need two ghost writing books. Okay, that's it, you guys. That's it for the video. We did this. So, we died in two, and I think we successfully completed four of them. Either three, but I think it was four. So, that's it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, if you stayed all the way to the end to hear me say, hey, please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. I want... I want to ask those of you who waited all the way to the end, will you please leave me a comment telling me you made it all the way to the end and tell me what you think about the Revenant episode. Well, it's, it's not really an episode. I mean, this whole thing is one big long episode. But yeah, if you made it to the end, I want you to tell me you made it to the end and tell me what you thought of that because that was nuts. Okay, so we're going to do some more videos, guys. This is... I don't know. I usually don't do videos this long. And again, this is solo. We're missing out on all the interaction of working multiplayer slash co-op. You know, tell me if you like this. Do you want me to do more of these like two to three hour long runs of multiple, you know, houses, buildings, you know, professional, amateur, intermediate? I've been killed an amateur. I've had amateur houses or contracts or jobs whatever you want to call them that took longer than professional ones took in the same size house so that's it for this video Stephen 21967 and we survive phasmophobia see you later dudes